This is a young patient who originally presented for evaluation of chronic headaches. On MRI, we see that there are several prominent skull base defects. The first is a large meningocele involving the sphenoid bone with extension of contents into the nasopharynx via the cella. Although not well depicted here, the optic chiasm was inferiorly displaced into this defect as well. More anteriorly, there is a cephalocele involving the cripiform plate with the right gyrus rectus partially extending into the superior nasal cavity. No other abnormalities were seen. The last two CT images show the, show the osseous abnormalities more impressively, particularly the wide open gap of the nasopharyngeal lesion. Cephalocele is generally thought to occur secondary to a number of potential mechanisms depending on location, ranging from neural tube closure abnormalities to skull base ossification failure. Various types include occipital cephalocele,s which are thought to be more commonly seen in females of Caucasian descent, frontoethmoidal or syncipital cephalocele,s which are thought to occur more commonly in Asian populations, as well as the rare nasopharyngeal presentation, as is also seen in this case. These abnormalities are repaired and the clinical concern is otherwise for development of CSF leaks or meningitis.